I'm Inspector Kara Party from the St. John's Regional Fire Department with some safety tips for consumer fireworks. Consumer fireworks are explosive devices and they need to be treated with proper care and they need to be used safely. The first thing to think about when you're setting off consumer fireworks is to make sure you have enough clear space. Aerial devices such as Roman candles, they need a minimum clear area of 30 meters by 30 meters. Other ground-based fireworks need 20 meters by 20 meters. Also make sure you check the wind direction and the speed when you're setting them off. You don't want the winds to be blowing towards a house where the fireworks could potentially land. And you also need to make sure that you have a water source nearby. Should anything happen and a fire starts, you can extinguish it. We have several different types of fireworks here today. Just to give you an example, this one here, while it looks relatively small, spectators have to be a minimum of 60 meters away from this one because it shoots up to 30 meters in the air. And then we have this one here, which looks a little bigger, but spectators only have to be 6 meters away from this one. It's very, very important that you read each individual package as all the instructions are written on there. Some of these devices have to be buried up to halfway in sand, one like this would be, have to be buried halfway in sand, either in a pail or in the ground. Uh, some just, they need to lay flat on the ground on a stable surface. If some of the fireworks don't fire, then you need to place them in a bucket of water and let them sit for at least 30 minutes before you dispose of them, because they're, they're called duds and they could potentially misfire if you try to light them again. And when you're finished your show, at the end of the show, place all of the debris from the show in a pail of water. Wait at least 30 minutes until you dispose of them in the trash. That way there's no potential for a fire.